Hey, what's up guys? Houston here. Look, are you looking for a business loan? Okay. Or are you looking for a company that's willing to work with you if you a startup, a existing LLC? If you've been in business at least a year, but you're making under $50,000 annually, which is about $4,200 a month, basically. So you're not making a whole lot of money, but you've been in business long enough and you may not have the best credit. Well, these lenders I'm going to give you, these are some of the top lenders you may want to consider, okay? And it's going to make it much easier on you to help qualify for funding because they're not going to ask you for a business plan, all right? And since they're not asking you for a business plan, sorry, I'm on my way and it, it's hot. But what I'm saying is that you don't need a business plan in order to get qualified for these loans and you don't need the best credit. All right. But you do need to show revenue in the business and you have to have been in business at least a year. Some of them actually will work with just a startup with less than a year. And so that one is Dream Spring, okay? So the first one being Dream Spring, a 600 credit score. They're pulling from TransUnion, okay? And they're issued the loan through Upstart. But here's the interesting thing about it. Dream Spring was actually initiated through the Build and Melinda Gates Foundation. There's other billionaires that put capital into this type of uh, lending source. Now, the thing about it with Dream Spring, you, some states may not have, may not offer Dream Spring, okay? So it may not be in all 50 states, but nonetheless, I would definitely try to see what it is that they offer, okay? Now, the second one is PayPal. Guys, I cannot stress this enough. If you're trying to get funding, okay, without the paperwork and you've been in it business long enough, PayPal will work with you, okay? Now, here's the thing about it. There's two type of business loans with PayPal. You have the PayPal working capital and then you have the PayPal loan builder, okay? So with the PayPal working capital, the situation with them, you have to be in business at least three months you uh, can get a loan. If your revenue is 15000 then you have a PayPal business uh, account with PayPal, then 15000 qualifies of revenue, annual revenue, all right? Now, if you've been in business three months and you just have a premier account, you have to have at least 20000 in revenue, all right? Now, here's the thing about it. Their PayPal working capital goes from 1000 up to 200,000. That's on the PayPal working capital. Now, when you're talking about the PayPal business loan, it's a different situation. The minimum credit score is a 580 credit score, okay? And neither of them is a hard pull on the credit. They are going to check, check it, but it's not a hard pull. Now, the loans for the PayPal business loans is you have to be making an annual revenue of 33,300, okay? Now they loan from 5,000 up to 150,000 and you have to be in business at least nine months. Now with the PayPal business loans, you do not have to have any type of PayPal products in order to qualify for that, all right? Now PayPal also offers a PayPal business credit card, which they pull from Experian 509. Now your average credit score to get that, you're going to probably need maybe about a 670, 680 credit score. But again, you don't have to have any of the PayPal business products in order to get that loan. All right. So definitely PayPal, you need to check out. Now you have American Express. Now here's the thing with American Express. American Express will give you a business line of credit. It's the American Express Cabbage, right? And so their business line of credit go from two thousand up to two hundred and fifty thousand. All right. Now the interest rates, uh, they go from anywhere from three percent to twenty seven percent. All right. So it depends on how long you're actually taking out the loan in terms of the interest rate. So their interest rates, uh, their monthly is you going from six from six months up to eight months, okay? That's their spread out time in terms of repaying back the loan. But hey, again, with 
American Express, just remember that with American Express, you can do a pre-qualification for an American Express credit card. Now, the reason that I'm stating that is because once you get the American Express credit card, the regular personal credit card, which they would probably do a hard pull on your experience, a transunion and transunion FICO 8. Uh, but once you actually get qualified for their personal credit card, then when you apply for like a business credit card, they won't do a hard pull. OK, and so you will be able to apply for multiple uh, resources of funding from pay, uh, excuse me, from American Express. So excuse me for that. Now, here's the thing about it that I would definitely tell you because they don't charge any maintenance fees. They don't charge any origination fees. They don't charge you any late fees on their lines of credit for your business, okay? And that's real good. Now, you do need at least a 640 credit score. Now, your business has to be in business for at least a year, and your average revenue, monthly revenue, has to be at least $3,000 a month. Again, like I told you guys, these are the lenders that you need to focus on if you're making less than $50,000 annually, yearly. So again, $4,200 a month. If you're not making $4,200 a month, then these are the lenders that you actually should be taking a look at. Now, let's say that you have an e-commerce business. Now, with your e-commerce business, I would tell you to look at Shopify. If you have a Shopify account, you do have to have a Shopify account in order to get their loans. Because with Shopify, they just look at what your average sales is, okay? It's no hard pull on the credit. So they look at your average sales and they loan you, I think it's uh, I think it's about like 30%. I may be wrong on that. For many of you guys that, or any of you guys that may have a Shopify account and you taking out a Shopify uh, a loan, put it in the comments. Do they give you 30% or is it higher in terms of the loan amount that they're willing to give you? But I know it's a no hard pull for you. So you don't have to worry about a credit. How, having good credit is just all about you making sure that you're using the Shopify platform. All right. Now, the next one is Funding Circle. Now, with Funding Circle, they don't have a minimum revenue, but they do want you to have a business that's been in existence for at least two years. And also, they want to make sure that you have at least a six 60 credit score for, for funding circle. Now, the interesting thing about it, they go up to uh, half a million dollars, 500,000 in funding that they'll loan up. But here's the thing about it. If you as an individual have challenging credit, I always tell you this, what you can do if you have somebody with a 660 or higher credit score, you can do an amendment with the Secretary of State and add them on to your... Uh, business account to your secretary of state and they can apply for credit cards and stuff for you. It just depends on how you feel about the person and if you trust them enough to be willing to do it. But at the same time, this is definitely a uh, opportunity, especially with the bank starting to tighten up. You need to really focus on these alternative lenders in order to try to find funding to help Keep growing your business. Now, if you have any questions about business credit funding, personal credit funding, click the link in the description. Schedule a one-on-one -on -one consultation. Thank you.